Hey guys, so today I wanted to do my March favorites. I'm super excited to do this because I haven't been filming my favorites videos for whatever reason and they're my favorite videos to make and watch and all that stuff. So, um, yeah. Obviously, I got a new weave. If you're interested in, like, hair and shit, I'm gonna do a review on Foxy Lock soon, so stay tuned. And, um... Yeah, without further ado, I'm just going to jump into it. Okay, so the first one is tea tree oil. Um, I love this stuff. This has multiple benefits. You could, like, put it in a steamer. You could put it in the bath to soak in. I use it personally to cleanse my body piercings. Um, you do have to be slightly careful with this. Um, it's very potent, so um, you always have to mix it with or like dilute it. And also, I recommend putting it on like a patch of non-irritated skin first to make sure you have no allergic reactions. But um, anyway, I put it on my piercings to cleanse them. The one time I thought I was going to have to take out my belly button piercing because it was so badly infected because I'm the worst at like cleansing them with like salt, sea salt water or whatever. So the one week I was like, dude, I need to fucking do something about this. And I put this on and within a week it was cleared up and perfect. And um, when I switched from a stud to a hoop, I put it on and there was no irritation from that. Um, anytime I do feel any type of irritation in my nose piercing, I put this on and it's perfect the next day. Um, yeah, I just recommend being a little cautious with it. Make sure you're not allergic to it first because you definitely do not want to put a freaking product on your irritated ass skin and you be allergic to it at the same time you know what I'm saying it will be a fucking ruckus so um yeah next I want to talk about this foundation girl go out and get this I think it would be good for all types of skin I have dry skin and it's really good for me um and it's pretty full coverage so I was kind of scared because this infallible pro mat no i can't use it it patches up so bad and it makes dry spots on my face that i didn't even realize i had show up like it's so weird but this is so freaking dope it's the conceal and perfect two-in-one foundation and concealer from milani so you get it at like any drugstore um yeah, it's like full coverage, medium to full coverage, yet yeah, you can still see your skin. I still see my freckles, but at the same time, it got rid of and concealed perfectly my, like, discoloration of my skin. Um, pretty much concealed up my acne that I have going on right now. Um, it's dope. Mind you, I do apply it with a beauty blender, so it goes on a little bit lighter than a brush or maybe your fingers would. But even with a beauty blender... It applies pretty freaking medium coverage and I love it so much and at the same time it gives a nice dew to your skin it's not matte it's like the best foundation I used to use the cover girl like three-in-one that was like basically the same title as this but that was way too dry for me and then I went to the Lumi and then I went to this and I love this more than the Lumi already and I only had this for like a week or so. I don't even know if this is technically March favorite, but I'm so in love with it. I had to talk about it. Um, next, I want to talk about liquid highlighters. In my past video, I think I did like a how to like like a glow video or whatever highlighting video. Um, I used this NYX Born to Glow under my foundation and. I love that technique. If you, like, apply it to the high points of your face prior to your foundation, it just gives you a beautiful glow with from, from within look. Oh, I highly recommend it. Or if you even just put um, highlighter on, a liquid highlighter on prior to your pressed highlighter, it'll just give an extra oomph to it, and you will look amazing. Amazing. So this is um, Sunbeam from NYX. It's very cool toned, but I, I ain't mad at it. I am obsessed. Do you see that? I look like the motherfucking Tin Man. Yes, I love it. 
And obviously when you blot it out with um, like a beauty blender, it gets a little bit more toned down and more wearable. But um, besides the point, that's besides the point. It's crazy. And this is probably like $6 at Ulta or wherever they sell next, which is basically everywhere now. And then this other one is Becca Cosmetics Opal. This is a bit more beige, so it's better for like warm skin tones and stuff like that if you're scared of this frosty of a highlight. And it's also a lot more sheer, but it does give you a nice radiant glow. It's a bit more um, wearable per se, but I really, really like this. Uh, next is a pressed highlight, and this is the e.l.f. Pinktastic Baked Blush or whatever. It's not even a blush, really, but... Um, see, it's how it's marbled with the pink, so I guess it kind of is a blush. But um, this is $2, you guys. $2. Do you see that? It's so nice. I love this on the high points of my um, cheekbones, especially because I am a warmer... Not I'm not deep at all. Like I'm pretty light, but I'm more warm. So this is really nice at the tops of my cheekbones. It's so pretty. Do you see that? Like I just tap that on my finger. Do on this I know. Like it just gives a nice extra glow and it's so pretty. You could wear this alone. I do that too. Um yeah, it's it's amazing and it's two bucks, so you can't go wrong. Definitely check that out. Um next is the Becca highlight in Opal. And at first I didn't like it at all. Because when I applied it, it did the opposite of highlighting. It, like, made my face look indented. I'm not kidding. But then I started using it with a fan brush. And I love it so much. It's so buttery and, like, it's crazy. It's so fucking pretty. But at the same time, it's kind of bronzed. So that's why I think if you apply it with, like, a denser brush, it's going to do the opposite of what you want so you have to be careful with it especially if you're a lighter skin tone so if you use a nice fan brush this isn't a good fan brush but it does the work it does the job but um if you just i'm just gonna pack on on this highlight basically if you just apply it lightly it just oh like do you see that it's so fucking beautiful i wasn't even gonna talk about it like when i was planning on doing my other favorite videos but then this month I like discovered using it with a fan brush and I fell in love and uh, I'm obsessed obsessed so if you have that problem with a highlight try a uh, fan brush because they aren't as dense as like this type of brush which I'm gonna talk about so yeah and it gives a nice nice sheen to your face uh, next is this blush from Wet n Wild. It's a Rose Champagne. I used to hate blushes until I used, um, Milani's Luminoso, which is an all-time favorite for everybody. And Rose Champagne is so pretty. It goes with almost everything. It's so natural. It's so fucking pretty. I don't even know. It's like a nice mauve, and it has, like, a sheen to it. It, I'm about to drop that, too. <laughs> there I go. See that? It's so pretty and it's like light. It doesn't apply too heavy or anything like that. And these are awesome formulations and they're probably like $3 at the drugstore. So yeah, there's like a million different shades. I highly recommend these Wet n Wild color icons. I don't have much to say about it because it's just obvious. It's just bomb. It's just, I love it. Um, also this e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder. Yes, bitch. I used to obviously always use this light cocoa from um, Too Faced, and I still do occasionally, but this, I have such bad watery eyes, it just makes my under eyes crease like a motherfucker. This doesn't prevent it, but it does help them not crease as much, and I I love it. Um, Right now, my eye was watery, so that's why it looks like I have an under eye circle, but um... Yeah, I highly recommend this. The only thing is the packaging, like, it's so small. I have to bang it out onto, like, the lid of this and then tap my brush in because this is so small, it's kind of ridiculous. Like, like, bitch water. 
I hate those. <laughs> I literally hate the fact that I said that. Okay. <laughs> Moving on to um, brushes, I guess, um, or beauty application products. I don't know. It's this. Oh my god, dude. I've dropped everything basically. This is the Real Techniques um, Miracle Sponge. I forget exactly what it's called, but it's basically a beauty blender. I put this to the test against the infamous beauty blender, and this has come out on top every single time. Um, I don't know what it is. It is a lot more dense than the beauty blender this is a lot more squishy and this is a more I guess you could say a more like a memory foam type of sponge opposed to this one this is I don't know more airy I guess you could say I don't know what it is this blends out my under eyes like a like a dream I don't this doesn't it doesn't do as well um, when it comes to foundation, they're pretty much the same, but this wins me over because of the price, how it blends out my concealer, and because of the price. Like, I got two of these for $11.99, one of these for $20, um, and I'm a broke bitch, so obviously, girl, <laughs> I mean, obviously. Um, and then this brush is an e.l.f. brush, and it's a flawless concealer brush, but I don't use it for concealer because... Like I said, I'm very, very crease, um, oriented. <laughs> I crease a lot, so brushes don't work for me. So I need to use a beauty blender under my, my eyes or my fingers. So, um, I started using it for highlight, which I love that with highlight. And that was my problem with the Becca with this, because it applied it very heavily and it looked, like, disgusting. But with my Anastasia, um, So Hollywood... It applies it very well because this is a different formula opposed to the uh, Becca one. It's a bit more, I guess, dry. It's not as silky. So you need more of a dense brush to pick up the product better. But um, yeah, I love it applying some highlighters, including this one. I like, I'm just going to keep packing on highlight. I like applying it with this highlighter and also I love doing contour with it as well. So it's like a multi-purpose brush which most brushes are these days but um yeah I love it it gets right in the hollows of your cheekbones and you could just blend up perfectly and it just gives a nice sharp contour without being too dramatic um yeah I really like it I use it on other people too and it works really well for them and I love it so so much uh, next I'll talk about lip products and it's the color I'm wearing right now it's the NYX lingerie a liquid lipstick in push up and I have it swatched but I'll re-swatch it because I did it earlier um I love this color it's like an everyday color for me now it's perfect and I actually have another shade that's pretty much this dupe it's I saw I saw from Amy um, uh Maciato, I forget how to pronounce her last name, but she said this was a dupe for Dose of Colors Truffle, and that's like an all-time favorite for everybody. So, yeah, I had to get this. It's so fucking beautiful. It's, dude. And it also looks like a dupe for Max Velvet Teddy. It looks perfect with everything. I'm obsessed with it so, so hard. So hardcore. Um... Liquid lipsticks aren't my favorite lip product as, like, in the range of, like, lipsticks and stuff like that, or, like, lip stains, because they're more of a paint, and they just go over the lip. They don't, like, sink in and, like, stain your lips, you know what I'm saying? And they most likely, half the time, they don't actually last. Like, they're not long-wearing at all any liquid lipstick. I have, I have Lolita from Kat Von D. That doesn't last for me. I have... Pure Hollywood, that doesn't last with me. None last. So if you're in the market for a long wearing lip product, stay away from liquid lipsticks because they're not gonna last you. Like I hate to break it to you, but they're not. Get a lip stain, get a matte lipstick that will stain your lips, especially if you use like a powder over top of it. Um in anything, and it just comes off. Um, and you can see how it's starting to like down here. 
obviously on the inside it's not going to adhere because your fucking lips are wet on the inside but um yeah i'm just saying if you want a long wearing pro lip product a liquid lipstick ain't gonna be your bitch next is this um wet and wild matte lipstick in bear it all and it's almost a dupe for push up it but it's in the same family, I guess you could say. This is, I think, my all-time favorite lip color. And it is a dupe for te Velvet Teddy. That's why I thought maybe Push Up would be. But now looking at it, this is a bit more... Has a bit more, like, terracotta notes, I guess you could say, in it. But regardless, dude, it's so pretty. It's my favorite color of all time and it's two dollars i highly recommend the wet n wild matte lipsticks because they're freaking dope um they look a bit cr they're creamy but at the same time they do dry down to a matte and also like i said before if you pat it over with a powder it'll last so long and i feel like these wear better than a liquid lipstick i highly recommend this again like two or three bucks at any store basically literally any store <laughs> Uh, next is this Buxom Lip, uh, Buxom, uh, what's it called? Lipstick in Nudist. My sister sent this to me, and I'm obsessed with it. It's not the most pigmented. Of course, it's a nude, but it's a nice sheer nude. So, it goes with any look. And I also like to top it off with a gloss sometimes. Like, I'll just use this gloss for an example. And it just looks so pretty with anything. I don't know, dude. It's just, I love this. It's like one of my favorite, like, glossy nudes, but it's in a lipstick, so, yeah. I don't really have much to say about it other than I just like the color of it. It's just a nice sheer wash nude. Uh, then this Rimmel Coal Liner in Nude, once again. Um, I love this. I wear it almost every day. It's just a nice creamy, extremely creamy, like... You can't even see it. Like, it's the same color my skin tone. But it's so fucking creamy. And these are extremely affordable as well. It's Roma London. So, maybe $5, $4. Either way, it's really, really inexpensive. And, and I always was scared that if... Since I have, like, bigger eyes. If I put, like, a white or, like, a nude on my waterline, it'd make my eyes look crazy. But then I got it, and I fell in love. And I never, never looked back. <laughs> but, um, also, if you have smaller eyes and you do a smoky eye and you have all these dark colors, it's going to shut your eye out. So, a nude will open them back up, and it also gives a nice pop of color. But, um, next, I want to talk about the... Anastasia self-made. I know it's a bit late and a bit behind, but I love this so much. Looking at it, it's a bit chaotic. Like, there's a bright purple, a seafoam green. Like, there's not much, like, correlation. But I use it literally every day. I even use the, like, and I love color in my makeup, so this is perfect for me I, and perfect for you if you love color but I love it so much like this pink champagne it is a permanent color um it's crazy it's so pretty foil that's why it looks like that because I always use it wet um foiled is amazing self-made is like a nice antique gold so pretty Isla or Isla awesome seafoam green perfect for the spring uh like I said deep purple crazy beautiful vibrant purple um hot chocolate dude fuck yes this is my favorite it's like so like i don't it's like neutral but the same i don't know idk it's kind of warm it's just beautiful and it blends like a dream buttery again blends beautifully i just love this palette with everything everything in me Next, the Morphe palette. I know I've talked about this in another favorites, but I just want to touch base on this color. Oh my god. Ugh. It just gives an extra warmth to a look if it's way too cool and it's washing you out. This just gives a beautiful color to it and it can deepen it up as well. 
I love it so much. I don't even know. I just wanted to talk about that because I use it literally almost every day. I'm wearing it today. Um, and I'm also wearing this shade, which is ob like an obvious fan fave. It's crazy pigmented. But um, yeah, I highly recommend this palette. Whatever. Um, shit, dude. I come. I completely forgot to talk about this. This Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay, world's most powerful facial deep pore cleansing. It has 100% natural calcium bentonite clay. I love this stuff. You activate it with either water or apple cider vinegar or both. Um, it is intense. Like, at first you put it on, you're like, this is no big deal. After a while, as, as it dries, you could feel it literally pulsating and, like, tightening your skin. And it tightens up my nose so much that it brings it up. And I, it, I when I look in the mirror, I want to puke because I look, like, disgusting. Like, I look like this. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, is my nose going to be permanent like that? But I love it. Um, I leave it on for, like, about 20 minutes on, or whatever until it dries. And then I take it off and it leaves your face red because it's so deeply penetrating your face. I love it so much. It's a powder. That's why I was saying you have to activate it with like a apple cider or vinegar or um, water. But um, yeah, I just want to quick talk about this because I completely forgot to put this in. I know it's kind of random at the end of this, but I love this. If you could find it fucking pick it up because it's bomb and it hasn't made me break out the only thing I think it like popped a blood vessel in my cheek because I had like four red dots and they were like blood vessel -y. but um I don't know beauty is pain am I right ladies I love it so much it's bomb I don't want to say bomb but it's dope as fuck I love it so much try to find this or something like that but um yeah, once again, I love this so much. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty dope. But I think that's everything, you guys. I know I'm weird. And I probably don't know how to explain things that well. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe to me if you want more of me. Check out my Instagram where I post beauty pictures and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed once again. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.